for 50 because people need to know. Uh, for e, for G? Yeah. Mm. Man, Um, I think I got on the G in the, during the pandemic. I was at home. That was the first time actually I ever been in the house like three or four months straight. So all I'm doing is looking at YouTube and watching shit and seeing shit. But um, y'all know Nigel, right? Y'all know Nigel. Yeah. So, and why giant? Yeah. Oh, man. So, so Nigel hit me one day and he like, yo. Uh, I think he texted me like, yo, hit me. I, I got something to speak to you about. And when I hit him, he was like, man, it's this artist from uh, it, 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 artist from uh, Kentucky. Name G. He hard. I just feel like he fit what you're doing over there. And I'm like, man, just send me the music. You know what I'm saying? So when he sent me the music, I think he sent me like three videos and a couple songs. And this nigga was so hard. I'm like, God damn, this nigga yeah, hard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I like just listen to him for like four to eight hours straight before I even got back to Nigel. I think I'm just I'm just listening to him, listening to him. And I did something kind of a little different than I normally do. Cause we got A and R's and all this shit. We got like, like this ain't just no like just for the record, like we're a real label. Like we got A and R's, we got every department, right? So normally, you know, the normal A and R can find an artist, so I send the music to A and R. But but G was so raw that I sent them to my brother. I don't normally send the music to my brother. You know what I'm saying? Because, but G was talking so much. Uh, you know what G be talking about. Yeah, he about. talked that shit. G, that shit was just so like, I sent it to my brother first, and I'm like, listen to this nigga, tell me what you think. And he gave me back, like, that nigga hard. Like, that nigga talking it. You feel me? What was, when I first heard it, was it, but you get it, did you get it like that? When, when I first heard him, I could see it. I pinched the whole, like, he visualized, the way he rapped, I could visualize that shit because I knew it was just real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, when you, when you, you know, if you, yeah, know, you if know, you know, you know, you know, know. what I'm saying? Well, you, you, you can tell in the in the tones and in the pain mm-hmm. and in the um in the dialogue or how you say certain things if mm-hmm. if you if you um you live this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um so yeah, it went from there after I sent the music to my brother, I sent it to then I sent it to the A&R, but I was already fucking with it. I hit uh, Nigel back. I'm like, yo, put me on the phone with, with, with bro ASAP. So I think that next day from when I hit Nigel, we, or the same day, we was on the phone. So we on the phone, and we, you know, me and him talking, and, and you know, we we, had, we we talked for a minute. You know what I'm saying? The shit we was talking about, he was telling me about what he was going through, like, actively in Kentucky at that time. And um, I was like, yo, when it was a pandemic, I'm like, I need to get in front of you, though. I need to see you because uh, every artist that you that you see me work with, they'll tell you that they spent time with me before we did business. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to make sure that like, you know, we have the same same goals in line. We have the same drive, the same hustle. Because you can be the coldest artist in the world. If I don't fuck with your mentality, I can't fuck with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? If I don't fuck with your hustle, I can't fuck yeah, with like, you. Yeah, because, you know, so I, I told G, I'm like, when can I – um. I'm like, you know, it's the pandemic and shit. And I actually want moving it all. Like, it's the pandemic and shit. So when can I, uh, we got to figure out what day when this shit slow down, when we can get together. And bro, like, shit, I'll come out at you tomorrow, some shit like that, or where you going to be at? So, like, even little shit like that, let me know, like, what type of nigga he was. Like, I ain't no, like, sit back nigga and wait for shit happen. I'm going to go get the shit I want. I'm going to go do the shit I want. And that's how I move. So I, when I seen them say this, it's little signs like that I already made me fuck with them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then um, I had a video, actually the recession proof video. Yeah. If you if you go back and see that recession proof video, um, yeah, they ain't buying there. That shit was like, and they weren't even playing like that. Some some had came up in Atlanta, and we was all out there, and everybody I noticed I seen everybody posting their cars and shit. I'm like, damn, everybody out here with their whips and shit. I'm like, yo, tell them everybody could bring their cars to the house. I'm gonna shoot a video, mm-hmm. like the next day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And G was out there. My brother hit me like G said he gonna pull up to the video. And G pulled up. If you if you if you go back and watch him in the video, him and his homies all on pull up with the chains on and shit. He pull out the money in the video. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm shooting my video, but I'm watching him. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm watching him like yo, I fuck with this nigga. He one of us. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So I just the music was already there, and then you know, one or two times being around him, I think he came to Miami and fuck with me. He pulled up at the studio, two, three raves, done a couple of Rolls Royces and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They already APs down, sky dwellers, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I know what type of niggas I'm dealing with. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And um, then I went to his hood, too. I actually went to his hood. The island? Yeah, I went to uh Kentucky. And 
I went to his hood. You know what I'm saying? Like I like to, like I like to feel this shit. I like to know what I'm dealing with. I like to know who I'm dealing with. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just talking to no niggas over no desks and then coming out here selling this shit to the world. Like I want to know this shit really what it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, but GG um, authentic. He's solid, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, he, and he was already turn, he was already getting his own money. He was already doing his own thing, you know, uh, to me. And I think to him, too, the, uh, the 750 probably ain't no big thing to me or him like it was to everybody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Damn. It was cool. That was good. No, because you know it's good because, the, you know, every artist to run around telling me, yeah, I need this, I need that, I need, you, know, you see, what's his name got 750? And I'm like, hold up. That's cool, you know what I'm saying? But shit. I think right. Gotti just be sitting around like it's always a nigga birthday. I'm about to shit on the industry today. Fuck it. <laughs> Tell money bag pull up. You know, a million five niggas. Just, somebody right. go. So, who birthday is it next week? Get the banks ready. Tell them we. No. <laughs> tell them we all need two point five. <laughs> all these my niggas, bro, and and to me, bro, they worth way way more. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Like, Absolutely. Like,